This is a famous painting by the artist Gustav Klimt called The Tree of Life. Gustav Klimt was an Austrian symbolist painter. Symbolism was a 19th century art movement that originated in France, Russia, and Belgium. Early on in Gustav Klimt's artistic career, he was successful in painting architectural decorations. As he began to develop more of a personal style, his work became more controversial. But Klimt's golden phase got a positive reaction. This painting, called The Tree of Life, is the only landscape Klimt painted during his golden period. He used oil painting techniques with gold paint to create luxurious pieces of art. The swirling branches create mythical symbolism about how life continues. The branches twist, twirl, turn, and spiral, creating a tangle of strong branches and long vines which expresses how complex life is. With its branches reaching for the sky, the tree of life also roots into the earth, creating the connection between heaven and earth, which is a concept often found in many cultures, religions, and ideologies. Let's create our own tree of life drawing inspired by Gustav Klimt. For this project, you'll need a sheet of paper, a pencil, a black marker or crayon, and something to color with. I'm starting with pencil. Let's draw the trunk of our tree. Two long vertical lines in the center of our paper. Let's draw our first branch. From one of those vertical lines, draw a line over to the side that ends in a spiral. Then, draw another line that mimics that first line, connecting the end of the spiral. For our second branch, draw a long line that ends in a spiral in the opposite direction. Then connect that branch to our first branch, continuing the spiral. Let's draw more branches using spirals like we did the first two branches. Now that we have our larger branches, let's add many smaller branches using the same technique to draw the spirals. Anywhere you'd like on your tree, continue drawing smaller spirals off of different branches.
Let's add some shapes, designs, and patterns on our tree. When you're ready, use a black marker or crayon to outline your drawing. And finally, let's add some color 